everyone, welcome back to another episode of Virtual Tour. My name is Lee and I'm the Senior Business Ambassador of Art Science Museum. In today's episode, I'll be walking you through Margin, Drawing Pictures of Hope, which is our latest exhibition. This exhibition is part of the 7th edition of Singapore International Photography Festival. This exhibition will be open from 21st November 2020 to 28th February 2021. In this exhibition, we showcase 15 local photographers that reflect on the national character of Singapore, including issues found close to home. Let's go. The word margin in the exhibition title reflects a redrawing of dividing line and reframing of people and places we think we know. The photographers also create images that perceive home as a fluid concept that is both nearby yet distant. The first section of the exhibition is Gardening the City. The Garden City vision was introduced by our former late Prime Minister, Mr Lee Kuan Yew in 1967 as part of a strategic plan to transform Singapore into a tree-lined city of green spaces and parks. The 1975 Parks and Trees Act made it mandatory for government agencies and private developers to include greenery in their build projects. The initiative continues as National Parks Board aimed to plant 1 million trees across Singapore to be perceived as a clean and green country known as the Garden City. The first artist that I would like to introduce to you is Marvin Tang, a local photographer, and photography is his tools of investigation. His interest revolves around parallels between spaces and human interaction, creating new narrative of our environment. Amidst the encouragement of the Parks and Tree Act, it is inevitable that the government needs land for urban design planning in order to accommodate to the growing population in Singapore. How would the older generation feel during the tra transition from kampong days to concrete jungle? So, my grandfather, he used to own a farm in Sembawang, but it was bought back by the government because of urban developments. Though grateful because of this planning, Singapore managed to transform into a well-developed country. However, Marvin Tang realised that there are existent known only by hearsay out there in this thick vegetation. Known as guerrilla gardening, it is a form of silent protest by farmers yearning to farm and garden back to the forest, away from the concrete jungle. The growth and development of Singapore are dedicated to our forefathers and heroes. Singapore is a nation built of permanent immigrants and temporary migrants who play a crucial role in the growing economy. In this section of From Another Shore, the gallery unearths the stories of these people. In this section of the exhibition, we feature artists such as Shamin Po and Zakaria Zaino. Shamin Po works across photography, film and performance to create spaces for narratives that are often unseen and unheard. Zakaria Zaino speaks through his photography about the exploration of meaning of the world. Both photographers exhibit their works differently yet share similar sentiments towards the forgotten hardworking heroes of Singapore. For example, the Martyrs were a wave of female immigrants largely from Guangdong province in China they came over to Singapore to work as domestic servants from the 1930s to the 1960s. These women are the breadwinners of their own family, and because of their dedication to work, they, many of them vowed to not marry through a ceremony known as Sohei. They are also known as Zizhu who can be recognized with low kong fan and also this black and white outfit known as the Sangfu outfit. Photographer Shami Po managed to contact the remaining Martyrs who are in their 80s and 90s and are still around. They are currently residing in rented apartments in Chinatown, Singapore. In addition, Gurkha's contingent have been serving in Singapore for over 60 years, yet little is known of them. The Gurkhas are known for their fearlessness and loyalty. 
The Nepalese soldiers were brought to Singapore as neutral forces from the 1950s to present day. Zakaria Zaino travelled to Nepal and located these retired Gurkhas who lived and guarded Singapore. My personal favourite is Nabahadu Rai, the 70-year-old retired staff sergeant who reminisced his days in Singapore during the 1960s, where he would hit the movies during his off days where tickets were only 50 cents. Meanwhile, I'm here thinking that $7.50 for weekdays is cheap enough. He was a frequent at Singapura Cinema in Gilang Serai that showcased Malay classics or Hindustani films. The cinema is still around but no longer in operation. Till this day, the Gurkhas are still recruited as a unit of Singapore Police Force deployed for a especially high-profile event. Documenting Reality is the third section of this exhibition that brings light to the struggles faced by individuals both observed and mediated to help us make sense of the present days. This session showcases works through found materials and also traces of human behaviours through photographic installations and documentations. The first artist in this section that I would like to introduce to you is artist Ang Song Nian, who is also a local Singaporean photographer. His attempt in documenting reality with the use of photography is slightly different as compared to the other photographers in this exhibition. His installation instead is a representation of how, as we race for progress in the nation, what are the choices we humans made to achieve our short-sighted agenda that affects the environment we live in and the people around us. The Polluted Standard Index, also known as PSI, is nothing new to local citizens as the haze hit us almost every year. Artist Ang Song Nian created this installation known as Hanging Heavy on My Eye and it consists of corresponding gradated prints using light-sensitive photographic paper. As you can see, uh, these are recorded in 2016 every day by the artist. And this light sensitive paper came with, comes with gradient as the top cut records the highest PSI of the day and the bottom of the print represents the highest PSI level of the night. So what do you think the 12th installation here represents? There are 12 similar yet different installation over here in this gallery. They represent each day in each month of the calendar year. So there are 365 photographic paper over here. His work is a data representation in the form of art revolving around the reality of past time. The, re the recurring haze is a result of forest fire and peatland burning from countries nearby. The last section of this exhibition is our island city-state. Singapore is known as a fast-paced country that's forward-looking, ambitious, and also resourceful. Through rapid urbanization, the artist in this gallery creates images that allow us to contemplate our home's ever-changing shape and nature through the lens of how our history will morph us into the uncertainty of our future. The second last artist in this exhibition is photographer Wan. Wan was born and raised in Singapore. His photographs are distinctive in a style of fairy tale like pink hues about big city yearning, ordinary fantasies, and emotional globalization. These series of Singapore that he chose to exhibit in Art Science Museum will spark the nostalgic feeling in you with a sense of familiarity yet foreign at the same time because of the tender hues specifically selected by one. Singapore is known for high-rise futuristic buildings, mega shopping district, and iconic skyscrapers like Marina Bay Sands. Peering behind the polished and extravagant facade presented to the world, these images present to you the overlooked corners of the city. My personal favourite is this image of young teens sitting outside 7-Eleven, slurping cup noodles and drinks. So to me, this is a connection as because I used to do this a lot with my friends after school and the memories I have as a city dweller around Singapore. 
In the artist's perspective, however, despite the fairy tale like hues used in the images that he created, the work display are a study of nation's prettier side as compared to the attract attractive go to country Singapore is perceived by the world. The last artist in this gallery is Darren So. He is a landscape and architectural photographer. Darren So was trained as a sociologist but realized his passion lies on creating photographs than writing about them. The last artwork that I would like to introduce to you is SS24, Sunandong Sutra, the last train that departed from Tanjong Paga, Singapore to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The train ceased operation in July 2011 due to an agreement in May 2010 over the dispute of land ownership between Singapore and Malaysia for over 20 years. As part of the agreement between these two countries, the land was returned to Singapore and the railway line was removed. I couldn't believe when they had to return the land to Singapore, although geographically speaking, the land is in Singapore. Artist Darren So spent several months to document this as a series to tribute to the connection between Singapore and Malaysia as to commemorate the rich history behind it. A picture speaks a thousand words and I personally believe that the depth of each perspective of each and every one of us is what makes a photography exhibition distinctive. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Virtual Tour, Margins, Drawing Pictures of Home. Do stay tuned if you enjoy our content or visit Art Science Museum in person. Bye!